Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I'm going to dedicate an entire video to talking about this anti-skid material that I'm always talking about in other videos. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel today, I invite you to do that. Let's get started looking at this anti-skid material. So let's talk about the material first of all. It comes in different thicknesses. This is a fairly thick version here and they refer to it as a router mat. It's often sold as router mats in hardware stores. The other material that I use a lot, they're sold as place mats uh, and often in places like the dollar store, uh, places like that and it's quite a bit thinner but they both do the same purpose. Now the one thing about this stuff is it doesn't last forever. It's I don't know kind of a rubber vinyl material and you can tell when it's losing its effectiveness because first of all it doesn't stick. You can see this one tends to move a bit more um, and it also tends to start getting hard so when that happens it's time to replace it. And one of the first places I ever saw this material, it was being sold as a router mat. And the reason for that is you could put your router on it, put it on your workbench, put your work material on there, and you could route freehand with your router on it and hold the wood very securely. So it works great for that. But what I started to use it for also, because it held the wood so nicely, I also use it now for sanding. So when I'm sanding, first of all, when you're sanding, sometimes it marks the back of the wood. So now I use this anti-skid material and I do all my sanding on one side. When you flip it over, it hasn't marked the wood. Sometimes you can see the impression of this, but it's just the dust. Um, and when you sand the other side, of course, now it sands much easier because it hasn't been marred in the first place. One of the places I've been using this anti-skid material for years is in the bottoms of my drawers because it stops my tools from moving around, from crashing around, and it keeps everything nice and stable. And every now and again I have to take them out and replace them or clean them, um, but it's just a nice way of keeping your tools from moving around inside the drawers every time you move. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I made this uh, little jig here. It's a thin strip ripping jig and basically what you do is butt your wood up to it and then run it through the table saw and you're able to cut these really thin and repeatable little strips. It works great. But what the heart of the system is are these things called magnetic switches and they're impossible to lift off but they do tend to slide a little bit. So what I did with them when I purchased them I put a very thin layer of that anti-skid material and I just used double-sided tape, double-sided carpet tape on the bottom of it so it keeps it all very, you can see it's all very thin and now when you put these on and lock them on it's almost impossible to move that and I used the same things I made not long ago a fence for my drill press table and the same thing there when you lock it on it's almost impossible to move that uh, but it's easy to move around whoops there it is loose um, it's easy to move around when you take these off but when you lock them on boy they're locked solid they're almost impossible to move and that's because of that anti-skid material now you've seen me use this material on the bottoms of my push blocks. It works great for that. It gives you a little bit extra power. Even the bottoms of my push sticks, uh, again, it gives you that little bit extra power, that little bit better grip. But you know, I even use this in my vise from time to time. Sometimes I'm working on materials I don't want to get marred, and I can just put that in there, clamp it down, even if it's not material that I want marred, if I just want a really good grip on something in my vise, I can use that material and it, it just works so well. It grips it very, very well. And that same principle works on my clamps. Sometimes I use a couple of little pieces like this. I'll cut them. Uh, other times I can just wrap it around and clamp it like that. And it just holds like crazy so that you don't have to worry about something coming loose on you uh, as easily as without it. It just does a really good job. 
And you know, I even use it on my tripod. I have a special adapter that I use uh, that sits between the quick release on the head uh, and my camera. And I really like this because it's universal to a number of my cameras. So I use this, but look at it, it just doesn't move in there because it's got anti-skid material between those two bases. And now whenever I hook up my camera, I know that I'm secure on there and that it's not going to move. I even use it on the base of tools that I want to remain stationary so that they don't move. And it works great on this. This is, the, of course, the roller from the back of my table saw. And sometimes when you're cutting wood, it, it tends to bend down, even though you've got the roller set at the right height. But with this, it doesn't push the, it doesn't tend to push the roller thing away because otherwise there's nothing on these to stop them from moving around. Uh, and the anti-skid on here works just perfect for helping to prevent this roller thing from moving along when it touches a piece of wood that's coming off the table saw. I even line the top of my clamp rack with this stuff because every time I go to put a clamp on, I know it's not going to slide off. Well, that concludes my video today. A dedicated video on anti-skid material, and I use it on so many places. There's probably places I've forgotten about that I still use it on. Uh, but you know what? It's inexpensive. It's readily available anywhere, and it solves a ton of problems in the workshop. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.